we didn't really have any plan. Um, emo, you know, I mean, we just have this thought to shoot some still lives that would involve some porcelain, some, some broken porcelain. <laughs> that was the only thing. So we, we actually started with this and, you know, we were improvising. That's it. From what I remember now, well, I mean, color is my thing. You know, I start with the form or with the colors. This is something that really attracts me. Then a human body, the woman's body, and some kind of situation that you might say was not directed. I mean, always when I start to work with the model, I pretend that I am not taking the pictures of her yet. I'm always saying, oh yeah, I'm preparing the light, so you just do your stuff, but stand here and then, oh, then the model would always do something really nice and natural and then I take picture. And usually the first picture is the pictures that I would choose for the shoot. You know, I was shooting fashion from the beginning, so in order to that you need a stylist. If you have to go into the studio, then you also need a set designer. When I work on location, I don't use set design that much and it's completely different photography. Yeah, yeah this is the part that I'm the most excited for. Uh, it's always like, okay, so I prepare like some idea at home. I have some idea of colors, some idea of set design, some idea of styling and then we come to the studio and obviously I have no idea what I will be doing so but I'm really excited because I know that like I need like 10 15 minutes or 20 minutes and like in in some time there something will happen and I don't really I have no idea what will happen but I know that it will happen because it usually comes it never happened to me that you no, know, it didn't happen so I just wait <laughs> You know, when you like directing all the parts of your picture, there, there something natural has to be left. <laughs> but when I work with a daylight, that the natural light is the most natural. This is the same thing about the model posing and unposing. I like to have something natural in the pictures that I already directed. But also, in the morning there was something different and like after five hours I get completely different vibe and this is what I like actually, I like when it changes. And also when you work with the daylight, like in a studio, like in the afternoon you can get like some nice shadows and something that will move and something that you can work with. I like it. I guess uh, people would call it an art if I put it into gallery. But if I get paid for the same picture, they would call it commercial. The border is like very fluent, you know. Um, and sometimes I would do more, let's say, arty picture that would be commercial picture for the, for, you know, for the commercial. And sometimes I would do, you know, more commercial work that would go to gallery. So I wouldn't say this is like 
fashion photography. I wouldn't say this is art. I don't know. Maybe this is both. Or maybe there's some other name for it. But I guess these days we don't have to do this anymore. I don't really need to, to define uh, what I'm doing. I guess, I hope I don't have to.